back with the Rod and Fez show. August 12th, we are going to be at Dave & Buster's. That's a Thursday night broadcasting live. Among other things there, our second annual pool party, billiards tournament, that you can enter and try to win airfare for two anywhere Independence Air flies. Now, people don't shoot the stick like they used to, Fez, but... Uh... And last year we had some people that could shoot okay, but you weren't seeing Fast Eddie suddenly showing up there like when you had your own stick when you were younger. All right, 866-277-4969 if you want to shoot some stick, or uh, just write to us at Ron and Fez at AOL.com. Uh, also, we're going to have Don the Hypnotist with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, uh, we asked uh, Sid if he mentioned our name when uh, he went in to see maybe if the cop would let him off. And Bobo wrote in that he didn't say our name, but he did mention that he knows it's crazy Jen Watley. <laughs> her last name is not Watley. That's my last name. Well, that's her stage name. Well, she needs to quit using it because it's just wrong. You can't tell anybody what to take as a stage name. That's not up to you. I wish I had that power. You can't disown somebody's uh, stage name. Here's uh, Eric. Eric, you're on the Ron and Fez show. How are you? Whoops, uh, Roberta first. Roberta. Hey. Hey, how are you, darling? Hi, it's Roberta Zinger. Hi, honey. <laughs> I just wanted to give him a little advice. Sure. Uh, I got caught in a bad situation a long time ago, and it never will happen again because it costs. You got to get a good lawyer, buddy. You got to get a good lawyer. Huh? Was it a solicitation situation? It. It. <laughs> it well, yeah, it was uh, DUI. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Are we still on that subject? Sure, we can be on that. Okay, I'm sorry. They put me on hold. No, you're yeah. allowed. You're you're doing fine. So you well, had a lot of problems from the DUI. Well, yeah, it was like a one celebration thing, you know. Da 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 da. da. Well, right. But yeah, I the problem is the judge never really worries about what is the story behind. It. Oh no. Well, you're very well dressed. Oh yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the wedding exactly. It was a bachelorette party. Yeah. And all I did was like maybe drive one and a half miles to a McDonald's, and he was just sitting there. And he tried to talk to me, and I couldn't talk. And I deserve to be caught. You right. know, it's it's against the law. You don't do that. And I learned my lesson because it cost me twenty seven hundred dollars for a lawyer. But the one, the way I, he got me off, um, oh. and I don't know if a lot of people know this. Is <laughs> oh, I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was yeah. in the other other. That's another story. Okay. <laughs> but um. From the time you're pulled over and they write you a ticket to the time you have to get a breathalyzer, mm -hmm. they have X amount of time. I think it's an hour and a half and like, in Rundle County. And so the lawyer I got, of course, I paid big cheese for. But Some chatter? That's, yes, but lots of chatter. Lots of chatter, lots of overtime to pay that chatter. Right. But, uh... You know, there's ins and outs here and there. As long as you learn your lesson, you know, I mean, and you know what? A cab would have cost me maybe 15 bucks. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. You got to get a lawyer. Yeah. And a cab. Were you going to get a lawyer if we weren't making you? Were you ever even going to tell your parents? No, yeah, I was. And yet you have it. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to get a lawyer. Wait until you get a job before you yeah. come. I just want to be able to move back in and tell them. Just so that I'm not living outside the house and I'm still not allowed in. You're thinking you won't get back in. Exactly. Do you think there's a chance if you get a job and you're allowed back in, then you tell them you're right back out? Who, who, who are you living with now? Uh, my friend Brandon. He lives right down the street. All right, so you can still see your house from Brandon's. It's close to it. Now, what do Brandon's parents say to you? They don't know about the DUI. They just know about the... Uh, not being allowed back job. in? Yeah. Do they think that that's odd? Do they yeah. talk bad about your parents for doing this to you? They think it's a little weird that they kicked me out for not having a job when I was trying to get one. Yeah. No one's saying your parents are perfect. You're not exactly speed buggy, though, Sid, where you're really hustling out there, it seems, to get a job. But would you do that, Fez, to your kids? Never. Never in my life. And how old are your kids now? The ones that I know of? Yeah. Uh, you would never kick them out, though? No. If I had children, I would never kick them out. Here is... I'd treat them all like they were little Downs <laughs> babies and just keep them forever. <laughs> like, like your parents did with you. What? Eric, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Um, hey, I've been a cop going on nine years now. I just got some advice for uh, Sid if he wants to hear it. Yeah, he does. Um, first of all, there's two rights guaranteed to every individual. The first one is the right to a continuance. So if he goes... The first day to court without a lawyer, 
he is guaranteed one continuance. The second right is court-appointed counsel. He doesn't need to drop money on a lawyer if he qualifies for court-appointed counsel. If he goes into court the first day, tells the judge, the judge will ask him, do you have a lawyer? He says, no, I can't afford one. He will be interviewed that day in the courthouse for court-appointed counsel. If he qualifies, it's a free lawyer. And in Fairfax County in particular, they are fairly good lawyers. They do look out for you, and they do know what to look for. So you can get a public defender. Exactly. But it's not as bad as it sounds. I mean, it's free, first of all. Would he qualify for that, even though he's out of his house, but his parents are still paying his bills? If he's out of his house and his parents won't let him back in his house, he proves that he doesn't have a job, he doesn't have, I don't know how much money he has saved up in, you know, savings and checking and all that, but they do check, you know, bank records. But if he doesn't have a lot of money saved up in there and he says, look, I don't have a place to stay, I don't have a job right now, he'll probably be qualified for that. All right, so that might have to work for you. Now, I only know, I was on a jury pool in New York City, and the difference between a real lawyer and a public defender was light years, Fez. It was the difference between a major league ball player and a guy playing in a beer league. I mean, I was watching people with public defenders being taken away one after another, and I'm like, man, you know. But if you're telling the kid that he's got a better chance in Fairfax County, maybe that's an option for you. He said, it's better than nothing, that's for sure. That's what I'm saying. It's better than nothing. It's free for him. But, I mean, either way, he's going to be in a lot of trouble, especially because he's underage. All right, thank you very much. So none of the cops are giving you an easy walk on this one. No, they're all telling me I'm going to jail. That age thing really seems to be sticking with people. You know what I wish they would have done, Sid, would have been better for you, is instead of taking you to jail that night, just worked you over with some nightsticks. That, that's the kind of law enforcement we need when we got a guy just acting dumb. Then it would have ended up on someone's videotape somewhere, and you'd be in the driver's seat, Sid. I would have rather gotten beat over with nightsticks than... You would have been like that heavy guy in Cleveland or Cincinnati or whatever it was. All right, I still got Perry writing me nasty emails. Uh, he says he can't call in tonight, though. And he's going, uh, Sid was how, how old before he began drinking? Ask him how many times I turned him down when he asked me to di- di- drive him around or buy him beer or hang with him. Sid asked me to party more than I ever asked Sid. Well, there's a guy who's thinking a lot more about Sid than Perry. I, I don't want to get into it with Perry. Why, you're going to choke again? you got enough yeah. problems? Yeah, exactly. And there's always a threat he's going to show up and yell at me. Start start choking me up against the bar. Is that what happened the other night? From what I heard, I don't remember. You don't even remember any of it? No. You know, bro, I'm not going to try to talk to you about alcoholism... But all you got to do is look at the pamphlets, and you're blacking out, and that's right there on the you know front page. That's a big one. People that aren't alcoholics never black out. Yeah, well, you seem to be I, checking a lot of them off. I do. I seem to fall in a lot of the alcoholism categories. I mean, that's a big one, and I'm not going to sit around and try to tell you about it. What's but the, that's a big one, the blackout. Did you lose the job because of drinking? No. I lost a job because of uh, showing up. It was actually because of being sick so much that I had to take so many days off. Yeah, but your sickness has all to do with your gut, right? Yeah, but it's not drinking-related issues with the stomach. Jeez. Here's uh, Uncle Ryan. You're on a fence. How are you, sir? Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Uncle Ryan? Uh, I just want to tell him seriously, and it goes on. I'm glad that cop called in. Man, don't believe the hype. I, uh, granted, I live in Montgomery County. I'm not sure what the laws are different. I heard Virginia might be a little bit more lethal, but I have yet to go on with a lawyer, and I've had two counts against me. Sid, uh, is this your first account? Yeah, it is. All right, check this out. But he's also underage drinking. I understand that, but I think people, you know, I think they'll even show a little bit more leniency. I know, but here's the difference. You're thinking, Ryan, you're just guessing. This is his life. If this does 30 days, he grew up a soft kid. He didn't grow up a tough kid. You've never been around that kind of stuff. No. 
They'll be passing you around for cigarettes in an overnight drunk tank. I'm surprised you didn't get raped as soft as you are. Actually, we do that to him on the hideout, so. Just sick. And why would why would anyone assume leniency because of your age? You broke two laws, not <laughs> one. Yeah, if anything, they'll want to make an example out of him in terms of, you know, getting rid of his uh, stupid license. I bet they want to make a girl suit out of him. Eric, you're on running Fez. Hey, buddy, what's up? What do you got, Eric? Yeah, I think Sid is a big, fat retard, man. He needs to grow something between his legs. All right, what would you have said, though? You know what he should do? He should go down to southeast Washington and uh, have all the bu the guys down there just beat him down like a crazy stick. Maybe right. he'll grow some balls there. Oh, uh, you think that's going to help him? That, sh that will help him out because that at least make him think a little more. Sid, have you ever been beaten up in your life? No, I've never been beaten up. Until the other night when you were getting slapped around? Slapped around a bar. You're the one notch on Perry's belt. I never claimed to be a tough guy. I know, and that's fine out here. You're doing 30 days. Right now, the best plan we have is Eric's, where you go down to Southeast. And get worked over. That's, that's all we have to work with right now. Yeah. I'd like to find a better option than that. All right, here's your buddy, Paranoid. Perry, how are you? Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. Hey, listen, man, I'm, I'm not, like, trying to write nasty emails. I'm just listening to the show, and people are saying, you know, like, you guys feel guilty that Sid met me. Sid had this lifestyle before he met me. I didn't create, you know, Sid the drinker or Sid the partier. I used complete, you know, I'm, the, I'm stepping up and saying, that night shouldn't have happened. I'm to blame. You know, but... Right, you might I, be I to blame, no Perry, but he's the one that's going... Uh, you know, he's the one that the guys let, and I'm not saying it was just you, he was with other people, let drink and drive, you took him out to a bar when he shouldn't have been drinking, and plus you slapped him around that night, Perry. Right, we were all drunk, and, you know, I apologized the other night to Sid, I wouldn't say I slapped him around, I grabbed him, either way, I was completely in the wrong for putting my hands on him, and for even being in the situation with him that night. Wait a minute, you grabbed my brother and slapped him around in public? Uh-uh. Oh, that's from The Godfather. No, you... uh, but you see what I'm saying? If he had people that would say what you did, Perry, would cross the line for a lot of people. There's a lot of people that would say nobody touches his kids and slaps them around. I don't know whether you had to come in or not. I know you said you had money missing. Yeah, I mean, and, and another thing, like, had I been sober, I would not have reacted like that to, you know, money being stolen or a wallet, you know, being swiped off the car. It, it was it was a bad night. Everybody makes mistakes. You know, and to say, like, I'm only thinking about Perry, well, this is really bugging me out. You know, I didn't want to see Sid kill himself, you know, and had he done something stupid that night, you know, I don't know how I'd be feeling about it. I'd be feeling, you know, like I am now, terrible about the whole situation. You know, I really care about Sid. He's a cool guy. I think he's talented. There's been plenty of times when I told him, you know, you don't want to party. You don't want to be like this. But, you know, I'm facing a lot of legal troubles myself, and it was a horrible night. For me, as well as him. You know, no, I'm not facing what he's facing. i got other issues I'm facing. But, you know, to say, like, you, that I got him going in, down this road of drinking and partying, or anyone else at that station, I, I'm, Sid was partying before he was in the radio business. Sid did not, he is not ready to be here. He's not ready to be hanging with you guys. He's a big baby. He really is. Well, Sid, I wish you the best, and I got a lawyer. If uh, you ever want to talk, you know my email address. I apologize for everything that went down. My door is always open to you if you need a place. If you need cash, you know, email me. The days of partying, you know, to everybody, that's got to end for everybody because it's, it's destroying everyone's life. So that's all I got to say. Sid? All right, thanks a lot. Peace. That's all you had to say to him. Thanks a lot. There was I after did. all those offers. Are you done? Or what are you saying? I was saying, you know, I, I thank him for the offer. I'm not gonna, you know, take him up on any of it. Why? He lives too far away. Okay. Here's uh, Mike. Mike, you're on Fez. Hey guys, I got a funny story. Uh, yeah. I'm in uh, Loudoun County, right next to Fairfax County, and uh, I got a twin brother. And uh, about a year ago, we were uh, in high school. We were 18. Uh, he snuck out of the house, went to a party, and. Uh, he on the highway back home uh, with one of his tires flat on the rim and got pulled over. 
ended up getting a DUI and stuff. And then a few weeks later, I got caught in a speed trap. We both had to go to court on the same day. And uh, the cop didn't end up showing up uh, at all to his trial. So he got off without anything. I had to go to traffic school and got suspended, like, ticket license thing, where if I got a ticket in the next, like, six months, it counts double. Twins are weird. Aren't they? That's why I hate those twins on that Big Brother freak show. Just the whole thought of them. It's the closest thing to aliens that we have, twins. Just too odd. Just actually too odd. They got twins on Amazing Race, too. It must be just a theme. Yeah, of course. This summer. Well, they got midget, they got twins, any kind of freakazoid they can find they got out there. We got to take a break, Fuzzy. Um, Sid, you're going to stay with us another month? Yeah, I'll be here till September. No drinking? Not at all. You're on the straight and narrow now? Yeah. You off the weed? I was never on that. The devil's dandruff? You doing the coke? What is it, Angel does? I like to shoot up. I know you're joking. You'll get to meet a fair share of junkies when you all get in the yard together. And they need something bad. I don't believe a word he's saying. I you ought to bring in one of those extra Bibles for him. There you go. You can take that in with you. I got a couple. You been reading them? No. Or did you just hollow out the pages and that's where you hide your flask? All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back in a few moments. Uh, Fezzi, let's come back and talk about this uh, Ricky Williams thing uh, when we get back here. I know you follow the football. We'll figure out how bad is this going to hurt Miami Dolphins if not just cripple their entire season. Just ruin their entire season. Uh, back in just a few moments, it's the Run of Fez Show. <laughs> 